I can't tell you how many kids I, I've seen who, who've never seen Bambi. Well, clearly enough people have seen it and are discussing Lindsay Anderson Beer's comments about the script that she wrote for a live action remake of it to get it trending this morning. Our take on it was, um, did give a little bit more uh, of, a, of a scope to it. I don't know what that necessarily means, but I do know that Lindsay wasn't feeling as much pressure to stay faithful to the original 1942 film. I do think there's an entire generation of children who have never seen the original. And that's very different from say Little Mermaid or Aladdin or the, you know, the the 90s heyday films that they've definitely already seen. And yeah, she does not ignore the missing deer in the room. That is the reason that kids haven't seen it. There's a treatment of the mom dying that I think some kids, some parents these days are more sensitive about than they were in, yes. in the past. And I think that's one of the reasons that they haven't shown it to their children. I remember I saw Bambi as a kid, but I don't remember anything about that movie other than the mom dying. <laughs> Like, I can picture the shots in my head. It's fascinating. I don't remember necessarily being traumatized as a kid that she dies. I remember, yeah, it was an effective scene, but I mean, I saw other movies that characters died. But yeah, that scene is like burned into my memory. And yeah, I remember nothing else about that movie. And even if people do remember more about the movie than I do, still, the number one thing about that movie is the mom dying. Like, it's in the zeitgeist. Like, people talk about that when you think about a sad scene in the movie. It's Bambi. To be able to bring it to life for kids these days in a way that maybe they relate to a little bit more would would be of, of service to the original. Once again, I don't know what Lindsay means by saying doing a version that kids could relate to more. I don't see how that could relate to the mom dying plot point because that'd be weird to say, you know, have her be alive. Cause that's going to be something that kids could relate to more. Like that'd be weird. Cause yeah, that's the thing like to, to alter, do a new version of that plot point. There's not a lot of options. She's either dead or she's alive. We made it mother. We... Like, I mean, you could have her die later in the movie or you could have her die by different means, but she's still dead. And I thought, well, okay, you could have her go missing, like disappear at the same point in the movie that she died in the original and then have her be alive at the end of the movie. But still, at the end of the day, the original, she died, the remake, she didn't. So like, that's the thing. That's what this whole movie's gonna hinge on. I think like, you can't get past that. And I, I think that's an impossible task to take on. Like, I mean, Sarah Polly's in talks to direct this and Sarah Polly's done a beautiful job at every single movie that she's done. So I have no doubt that it'll be a beautiful movie, but there's no one that watched the original and has said, oh, you know, that scene was very distasteful or it's poorly done or could have been depicted more sensitively. No, it was, people were upset that the mom died. Mom So yeah, you can't improve on that scene. Mom how are you? The only way to change it is to make her alive. And I think there'd be people that would hate if you made her alive, it would cop out. And yeah, there's gonna be people that won't watch it if she dies again. So I just don't see how this is a winning, <laughs> a winning thing to take on. Um, and also, not that Lindsay said much in the, that interview with Collider, but take it with a grain of salt because um, she wrote a script, but she had to leave the project to work at Pet Cemetery, um, And that was like uh, two years ago. And so Sarah Polly has just been in talks a couple months ago to direct it. Sarah Polly has uh, written the script for every movie she's directed. Um, so it's very possible she'll want to write a script for it. Um, and yeah, we know that these Disney movies have gone through, yeah, several iterations and different scripts and updates. So very possible the script could change, but yeah, it's down to that. It, all this movie is going to come down to is what happens with that mom plot point. And I just don't see how you win in that circumstance. But yeah, what are your guys' thoughts?